All right, Cal Fire successfully completed a controlled burn in the Mount Hamilton area. Firefighters got rid of overgrown grasses that may help fuel fires. It is a technique that's been used across the country to keep forests healthy, but the windows for these burns are getting smaller and smaller. So as part of our new series, Project Earth, David Schechter shows us why. Fire boss Daryl Claremont is taking me to a location that the Confederated Salish and Kootenai tribes were able to treat this year with fire. It's an unhealthy plot of mostly dead, diseased, and flammable trees. To do that safely and effectively, they need moderate humidity, low temperature, and low wind. That's the sweet spot. We were able to take fire, for the most part, out of the ecosystem, and it's just a tool that has always been there. Uh -huh. So me looking at fire, it's just trying to put that tool back in. A prescribed fire solves what problem? Reduces the fuel, reduces the fuel loading that's, that's here right now that naturally wouldn't be here. Um, naturally, if fire was happening if regularly. Fire was just naturally happening, yeah. Across the valley, he's showing me this area of dense trees, which to me seems to be what a healthy forest should look like. You look at that stand over there that's thick, dense, wasn't treated. Uh -huh. So underneath that heavy canopy that you can see, there's probably this stuff, just thick understory. So this has got a lot of fuel in it. Yeah, that has a lot of fuel in it. On the other hand, this plot was previously treated by the tribe with a prescribed fire. Is this what a healthier forest should look like? Yeah, more open, more natural. If you get a fire in there, it's gonna stay on the floor and then it'll just move through. Might torch out a few trees here and there, but it's not gonna take the whole stand out. As stark as this looks, you know, I now understand that this is really important for a healthy forest to have this kind of good fire. There's a national movement to bring back prescribed fires as a way to prevent more forest fires. But after 100 years of fire suppression, the nation's backlog of areas that need this fire is enormous. In California, for example, the state wants to burn a million acres a year by 2025, but last year, only 110,000 acres were actually burnt. You know, we have certain parameters that we've used for years that tell us when it's good to burn and when it's bad to burn. And we used to burn a lot. Past several years, those windows just aren't happening. Shrinking burn windows are a problem. This study from the International Journal of Wildland Fire found in the southeastern U.S., for example, that even meeting basic burn criteria as defined today will become increasingly difficult over time because the climate is changing. And so how does that set you back? We get further and further behind. Uh, and unless we ever get like a really good season to ever catch up, you know, we're always gonna be behind.